In this video, let's go ahead and look into XPath injection. As we could see here in the login form, let's give in the login credentials and login. So as we log in successfully, we see a welcome message. At the backend, this is using the XML and the XPath so as to get the details. So let's have a look at the backend PHP code. So this is the login mechanism that has been utilized by this page. The dollar XML variable is also used to load the XML file in this scenario which is heroes.xml and the XPath search, the XPath query that is being used is as given here. And uh, let's have a look at the XML file that is being used here. This is the XML file. So as we could see here, we have uh, the credentials that is the dollar login in, uh, in this scenario, which is uh, Neo and uh, the password uh, credential, which is the Trinity here, which is the first user in the XML database. And an example XPath query is also given here. So this is an example XPath query. And uh, if the result is true, we would get a welcome message or else we would, we would be displayed, uh, it would display it as invalid credentials. So going back to the page, let's see if this could be exploited. Let's give in a single quotation and see. Yes, we do get some sort of warnings here. So let's go ahead and try to give in some true uh, conditions which are log uh, logically true conditions and see if this actually works. So we're going to copy this and paste it in the password field as well. And uh, when we log in, Yes, we were able to successfully log into the first user in the XML database. So going back to the PHP code. So let's see the exploited XPath query here. So in this scenario, it would be this. So as we can see, the, we have login credentials as well as the password credentials, but then the value that we gave which was a logically true statement uh, completely changed the whole scenario so basically we could see it either checks for the user's login or it checks if one equals one which is a logically true statement so henceforth it allows us to log in directly to the first user that is present in the xml database